Hey, welcome back, everybody. The window you see here, our local five team holding, is uh, goes up for auction tonight. That is, along with hundreds of others, at an annual event called Windows for a Cause. It's all happening at the Fox Cities PAC, and that is where Jordan is. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, the uh, floor here is just laced with all these windows. Take a look at this. It's absolutely phenomenal. And uh, Windows with or Windows for a Cause is the is the program. We have Brian here from Tundraland to explain you know everything about this. So this was started back in 2016, right? This is, this is our fourth year doing Windows okay. for a Cause, and it's been an exciting four years. It's been terrific. So, what, such a great community event. This is see the way the artists and community people participate in this. It's spectacular. Yeah. So how does this work with uh, you know Tundraland too? Because you guys obviously you know you're a window company. So how do, how, sure. does, how do you get these? Open? So typically, what happens with a window company is when you put new windows in a home, you take the old windows out and you throw them in the trash. Yeah. So we started saying that's just such a shame. Let's not do that anymore. Let's work <laughs> with local artists, community members, your own television station, and how can we turn old windows into beautiful art pieces? And then once a year, here we are at the PAC, yeah. we display all these art pieces and we do a giant auction. And all the money raised goes to make a positive impact in the life of an individual in the community. Yeah, very cool. And look at the outcome of these. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. You guys will be raffling these off tonight or doing an auction for them so uh, obviously that's a you know one really good way to make it. correct we'll be raffling some off we'll be doing a silent auction we'll be doing a live auction some of the windows pair up with some really cool things one of the windows has a includes a trip to LA and dinner at wow. Spago with Wolfgang Puck I'll take it, that one. it's a great so <laughs> so we try to pair some windows with some really cool things that welcome window there that's one that Lisa did Lisa and her team did on, on local five live so it just it's wonderful how everybody participates I got a new know who drew this. Lisa, if that's you, wow. That is phenomenal. And in years past, you know, you've obviously supported, you know, great causes too. Yep. That's right. So it's, it, each year we try to find a different beneficiary. This year, the, the beneficiary is Logan. He's a five-year-old kid with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Uh, the natural progression of that is usually a wheelchair by age 13 and then, you know, a life uh, expectancy somewhere in the 20s. Wow. So what we want to do is we're doing this, this whole thing tonight is for Logan through Make-A-Wish. And our goal is to send him and his family to the Disney properties. He loves Pluto. Let's get his mind off of things and have him go crazy at Disney. It's absolutely phenomenal. And when people want to come here tonight. It's actually a free event, right? Totally free to get in. If somebody wants to make a $5 donation to the door to make a wish, they're welcome to. There'll be live music. Kyle Megna will be playing here. There'll be free food. There'll be a, a bar available to people. But it's just a great time to, to kind of support the artists in the community that all gave their time for free to help Logan. It's such a great community event. There you go. Five o'clock tonight. Get down to Appleton at the Performing Arts Center, everybody. Don't want to miss it. I have to clarify, please take my name out of that and insert Stacy and Jackie because I, I helped paint, but it was their baby. It takes a team and yeah. you guys pulled it off. Looks <laughs> Thanks, good. Jordan.